16, but all the other primes are Mersenne primes. It's quite easy to check if they are primes or it's called a prof prime. So prof primes have this form where multiplied by a power of 2 plus 1. Let's see if we can find a prof prime. What I'm going to do, but that's not a prime, it's 3 times 13, that's no good. Let's check for another. Let's try 19 again, but let's do 2 squared. So 19 times 4, well, 19 times 2 is 38, so we can double that again. That's 76 plus 1. That's 77, but that's definitely not a prime. That's 7 times 11. And let's keep going, let's see if we can find one. Let's do 19 times 2 to power 3. That is 153. 153, is that prime? That's maybe not so obvious, but no, that isn't prime. 19 times 2 to the power 4. Okay, we're going to keep looking. Right. Let's do the next one. 19 times 2 to the 5 plus 1. I've got that being 609. No, that's divisible by 3. I think you're going to get us on that top 10 distance, right? It's going to actually... We've got it. We've got it. Look at this one. 19 times 2 to the power 6, 1,270 prime. That is a prime. Finally, we found prime. Took a while. It's k times 2 to the power n plus 1. And you keep running through it. There are no 5, 7, 13, 19, 37, or 73. So he said he's always going to be divisible by one of those, so he's never going to be a prime. Find a few candidates for this. Well, in fact, we're going to have to check all the numbers smaller. The beginning of the 21st century, there were 17 left. 17 that hadn't been eliminated. So they might be numbers that are smaller than 78,557, and you could do this and you'll never hit a prime. So there were 17 candidates left. But thanks to advances in computation, that meant we could start eliminating these candidates. Now, we started to eliminate them until there were six left. These are the six that were left. The smallest was 10,223. But here are the others. 21,181, 22,699, 24,737, 55,459, and 67,607. So there were these six candidates left. But things started to slow down, and I'm afraid 